Hello ladies and gentlemen welcome to Triple N the media I am Nick Nickum in this presentation we're going to look at how to add a signature block for your outgoing emails in Outlook and Outlook Express here I have my Outlook uh, here I have my Outlook uh, opened in order to put the block let me show you what I have created and I'll show you how to create that one when I click for a new email and uh, here as you can see my thanks my signature my name this one I can even put my phone number my email address there's some typo here and a picture the picture is a little bit crazy how to get it in but I'll show you how to do it anyway so let us start off from the beginning so let's leave that one okay to do that we go to file under file click on options all the way at the bottom and then come and click on mail here and the third one from the top is the signatures let's click on that signatures and as you can see I already have my name Nick Sig so if you want to create a new one or a blank one then you just click on new here and then say Nick 2 now it's going to leave it blank so you can just let me go back to Nick one here and I'm just going to copy this to speed up the process this out wait, outlook okay now I'm just going to copy this stuff and maybe do some changes okay save this one yes and I'm going to come here thanks and let's say I want to add my phone number here 281-745-4161 so I have my phone number here and one thing that is missing is the picture so I need to bring the picture into this one and uh, I had trouble getting the picture to resize but anyway so here I'm going to bring up my I used to put my high school picture and people get, were getting mad I said man you look different from your picture I said okay all right I'll put the real picture so this picture is big and normally like in any other system you should be able to drag and resize the image but it's not doing it but don't worry so let's save this one for right now all right and close this one now what I will do is uh, open a new email and uh, obviously storing the picture here smaller size but uh, that was uh, signature one uh, let us go back to this file options and mail because I want to make n2 as the okay what I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete this one which uh, has a small size picture so in order to show you okay now it didn't delete that now I'm going to go to Nick 2 see now I have Nick 2 which has the big picture and I want to take this one and I want to delete this one just so that you know what the issue we are going to be facing Nick 2 okay okay it's better to make mistakes because in that way you see what all the other options available okay no so let's go back here it's not picking up the first message so what let's see what we have to we have to make that as the default see all the wrong steps lead us into a much more refined person so I have this one and I have to say if this is uh, there's a place where I had to say new messages what is this Nick 2 all right so that's what I had to check replies and forwards Nick 2 that's good save this one all right save this one see we are learning the more mistakes we do the better it is now it is shown the picture here but the picture is bigger than the email so how are we going to fix this one so what I will say now it gives me an option to resize my picture so I'm going to resize my picture to the size I want I hope it didn't flip yes it did flip see when it flips you have to go slow and resize this image all right I mean this is one way I have found out maybe there's a better way somebody can who is watching this can come up with a better answer so that all of us can benefit from that okay now I have this picture so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this picture copy this picture 
okay I, I don't need this email anymore now it has my thanks cardiology my phone number all these things so let us go back and redo that uh, e this one we did go back to options i know we're going a lot of steps but this is helping you to troubleshoot in more than many ways so here as you can see we're going to see this big picture here which is monster we don't need this one highlight that and there are little boxes here so delete that and now control p is going to put the smaller size picture now save this one and n2 is the one that's going to be used for new new and repeat emails okay when i click here bingo so we got uh, the name signature phone number you can put uh, your own philosophy here if you want or you have, you have a website or if you have any other uh, social media link you want to attach here like uh, linkedin something like that you can do that but this is how you enter your signature block and every time you send an email first time or a repeat it's going to show up exactly like this oh i didn't show you how to change the font and all this so let's do that one too let's go back to the this one and let's go to mail signature and here i got see here this is highlighted and here's uh, i have chosen calibri here you can change the font whatever you want my signature is uh, monotype uh, cursiva and here you can select the color and you can also make it bold if you like and the font size so those are some of the things that can be done to make it much more customized i hope this has been educational to you and please please do subscribe to our youtube channel i will see you in the next presentation thank you so much